Welcome back to Matt's Pokemon Academy. I'm Matt, and today we're going to be discussing Pokemon stats and what they mean. For every Pokemon, there are six stats. HP, which is health points, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. So let's start with the first stat, HP. HP is the amount of health a particular Pokemon has at the moment. It's denoted on the battle screen by the HP bar, which gives an amount. For instance, a Pokemon at 100 out of 100 HP is at full health. When a Pokemon's HP is reduced to zero, then the Pokemon will faint. The higher the HP of a Pokemon, the more damage it can sustain through the course of a battle. Secondly, we have the attack stat. The attack stat represents the physical attacking power a Pokemon has. Attacking moves are moves that will be at close range. For instance, think punches, body slams, kicks, etc. The more powerful a Pokemon's physical attack is, the more damage it can do against defensively weak Pokemon. Third is the defensive stat which, if you've guessed, is the stat that stands opposite of attack. The defensive stat tells how well a Pokemon can withstand attacking moves. While the defensive stat cannot completely negate damage from physical attacks, it can reduce the damage to a point to where it's of little use. Fourth is the special attack stat. When thinking of the special attacks, think of long range attacks that don't require direct contact with the opponent to hit them. The easiest way for me to think about it is like how Goku, despite having kicks and punches, can use the Kamehameha to hit an opponents at a distance in Dragon Ball Z. The same principle applies here. When using special attacks, you won't run the risk of activating contact abilities such as Static or Flame Body. In opposition to special attacks is our fifth stat, Special Defense. Special Defense is exactly what it sounds like. It's how well a Pokemon can resist special attacks. Like Defense, it doesn't nullify the damage completely from special attacks, but it does reduce the amount taken. Finally, the last stat we'll discuss is speed. Now, it may seem self-explanatory, but speed is the stat that determines which of the two Pokemon on the field will move first. The higher the speed stat, for the faster a given Pokemon will be. Speed is a crucial stat for Pokemon that wish to get the first strike in battle. However, there are several strategies that can be used to negate speed or even raise it in the middle of battle. With these six stats covered, I want to finish by saying this. The higher any of these given stats are, the more powerful a Pokemon will be in that statistic. If you ever want to check the stats of a Pokemon to see what it's most proficient in, then there are plenty of great websites such as Smogan, Bulbapedia, and Cerebi. If you feel anything I've covered today wasn't explained in good enough detail, then leave a comment below and I'll do my best to explain it in even greater detail. With that said, I'm Matt, and I hope you've learned as much as possible today from Matt's Pokemon Academy.